Do you want to make changes to an existing booking within the iOS version of Res Diary Plus? This film will show you how to seat and close a booking, view booking details, edit a booking, and access these features from the table plan and grid view. Creating bookings and adding walk-ins is covered in detail in its own film linked in the descriptor. The functionality for editing bookings and walk-ins are slightly different depending on which view you are using. When using the grid view, tap a booking and the booking details will be shown in a sidebar. At the top, key information will be shown, including the diner's name if available, the table they are sat at, the time of the booking and the number of covers. Closed bookings will show the view details button, the update status options and customer details, including their phone number, customer and booking comments and any promotion attached to the booking. Sat bookings will show this and a button to end the booking and a drop down, including options to cancel the booking, edit the booking, lock the booking to a table and confirm the booking. An upcoming booking looks similar, but the update status options are different and you have the option to seat the guest rather than close the booking. Looking at an upcoming booking update status will allow you to record whether they are fully seated, partially seated, which will turn the booking yellow, waiting in the bar, which will turn the booking orange, or unallocate the booking. Unallocated bookings are covered in detail in the iOS overview film linked in the descriptor. Finally, you have the option to seat the booking and the booking will switch to green in the grid view and adjust the start time if necessary. For a sat booking, the update status will allow you to set the stage of the dining process. The relevant icon will be added to the booking bar. This will also be updated automatically if you have an integrated EPOS system. Finally, you have the option to end the booking, closing the booking and adjusting the end time if necessary. The View Details button will bring up the booking details. At the top, you will see the diner's name and an option to print the booking details via your chit printer. Below this is the booking reference, phone number, the booking channel, email address, and a button to view the diner's full booking history with your venue. Below this are the booking details, including the date, number of covers, the table they are sat on, the time of the booking, their stage in the dining process, whether the booking is confirmed or unconfirmed, and two options to lock the booking to the table or cancel the booking. In the next section, details of any promotions attached are shown, any booking codes applied to the booking, and the customer rank. Below this is the payments information, including a button to bring up the payment window. Payments are covered in detail in the Creating a Booking or Walk-In film linked in the descriptor. Finally, there are two text input boxes to add booking and customer comments. Tapping the date, table or time will bring up the edit booking window. Here you can make changes to the date of the booking, the time and duration, the number of covers, the table selected or create table joins on the fly if required and add a promotion. You have the option to reset any changes you make or update the booking to save the changes you have made. This is the same window that you would open when selecting the edit option from the more options list. In the table plan view, these options are represented in a slightly different way. Tapping on a table will show all bookings for that table. Across the top, is the table number and the number of bookings and covers for that day. Below this, you will see a list of bookings. Closed bookings will not show in this list. For a currently sat booking, you will see the number of covers and the diner's name if available. Tapping this will bring up the booking details as covered earlier. Below this, you are able to change the stage in the dining process. And further down, future bookings on this table will be shown. You can also tap these to bring up the booking details and make changes here. To get support when you need it, 
click the help icon and submit a ticket to one of our support team members who will pick it up and send you the solution. Search the knowledge base for step-by-step -step guides, or if you are unable to access the above, email us on support at resdiary.com and we will be in touch with you as soon as possible.